Hello, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Robin and I do sewing and crafting tutorials. But today is Friday Sews, where I tell you a little bit about life and some things I've sewn. Let's get started. Hello, welcome to my dining room today because I want to show you a little tea cozy I made. It's so quick and easy. I took two pot holders and I put them wrong sides together and I just sewed right here from this corner up to this corner down to this corner and I just stitched right here in the seam and that's it. You got a cute little tea cozy, quick and easy. I love to make a whole pot of tea with my cream and sugar. That way I don't have to get up and make each cup when I'm not feeling well. I can just have a whole pot of tea right next to my chair and I can drink my pot of tea. But I also, to keep my tea hot, I made a little rice pillow. I made, I just drew a circle and put some rice in a little a white sheet that I used and filled it with some rice, but I don't fill it too full. You want it to be able to, to move around so that the pot can, can sit in there nice and snug. And then I made a little slip cover out of some pretty fabric, although it's getting a little scorched too from using it so much. But that way it's a slip cover so I can take it off and wash it and also make a new, new slip cover later on. Looks like I need to get out and make, get out and make some more covers for this one because it's getting scorched, but I love it and it comes in so handy. And so I just put a pot holder down on my tray and I put my little rice, rice pillow and I usually heat that up about one and a half to two minutes, depending on how big yours is. And that keeps it nice and warm. And I put my hot tea there with my cozy and that way I can enjoy my tea. And it stays nice and warm and delicious. I love my tea. Last Friday, I told you about a shirt that I like to wear with my leggings, but it's too short for me. And so I took a shirt that was too little on the top and I turned it into a shirt extender. I just cut it off and added elastic and I'll link my video. I just put up a tutorial on how I did this. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description box so you can see how to make a shirt extender. That came out really cute and I can wear it with other shirts too. And then I've been looking at some of my different patterns, trying to figure out um, what kind of dress I wanna make for the Dresser Girl that's coming up in September. But I know a lot of the other um, sewing channels are making um, dresses now. So I'm gonna to try to make a few between now and September. And I've been looking at McCall's 6015. There's the line drawings. And I looked at McCall's 5416. And Simplicity 1449. And McCall's 5791. And 5624 by Butterick. This might be too little, but it's so cute. I might make this for my granddaughter. And Simplicity 1921. And I wanna thank my friend Carla for giving me all these patterns. Thank you, Carla, these are adorable. And I looked through my stash of fabric and I found some pretty fabric that would be nice for a little girl's dress. I love this little rose. It's a cotton fabric with little pink roses on like a cream background. And here's another little small floral print. And Michelle, I bet you would love this. Michelle sews again. Look at this tie dye. Isn't that pretty? And here's another floral. And I love this pretty pink. I'm not sure if I have enough of this one. I hope so, it's so pretty. So those are some things I'm thinking about in the future to try to figure out which one I'm gonna make. And 
I wanted to show you some flowers that I made. I made these by hand. I cut out the little fabric squares. I cut out the fabric and folded them and sewed them together to create these little flowers. And I put a little pin on the back so you could pin it onto a purse or to a jacket or to an outfit. Aren't they sweet? And this one's made out of a knit fabric. And I put a little button in the middle and a little pin on the back. Here's a bigger one. These are made out of flannel. I mean, not flannel, fleece. This, this one's made out of fleece. And this one's made out of fleece. This one's made out of a silky type fabric. Oh, this is a pretty one out of, out of fleece. You can see it, the sun is so bright. So I had fun making this one's a, a knit. If you want more information about Project Dress a Girl, I'll put a link in my description box for Mari Sews. She's the one you, you'll need to go and check out her channel. She has a whole playlist about Project Dress a Girl, so check that out. If you enjoy my videos, click on this video right here. I think you'll like it. Thank you for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.